Thanksgiving is just three days away, which means we are just three days away from a month-long loop of Mariah Carey's All I Want for Christmas is You. But if, by chance, you're in the mood to, to diversify your holiday party playlist, our very own music editor, Quam, has decked the halls of a special destination just for you. Quam, tell us more about it. Thank you so much, David. And yes, we have the Holiday Music Headquarters, and this destination is your gateway to the ultimate holiday music experience. Check out all the holiday classics, like David just mentioned, the seasonally ubiquitous All I Want for Christmas is You, to classic redemptions like Santa Baby. Or you can immerse yourself in the holiday atmosphere by discovering our uber u -Law collection that is guaranteed to give you all the festive vibes. Whether you're in the mood for some couch Christmas caroling or just rocking out to your favorite holiday live performances, you can find all this and so much more just by saying what to watch into your Xfinity voice remote. Now, y'all, I have a confession. The aforementioned song that David just mentioned, All I Want for Christmas is You, <laughs> is very overrated to me, to me. I think it's a great song, but I think that it's overplayed and no disrespect to Mariah Carey. I think she has better songs in her, in her holiday catalog. Uh, and I wanna play a little game where we choose some of our favorite holiday hits that, you know, deserve some love. And so I think I'll kick it off with The Temptations rendition of Silent Night. Uh, this song holds a special place in my heart. Um, it was my, Favorite song growing up as a as a young boy, as a young lad, a young qualm, if you will. Uh, when we were younger, me, my sister, and my mom and dad, we would gather around the Christmas tree, and my dad would play all these like Christmas classics. I think it was like a Motown Christmas uh, Alglamation album. Um, and the one song that really stood out to me and my dad was uh, Silent Night. He used to love to sing it. Uh, it there is like, a variety of just tones and pitches because you know the the temptations have a wide range of singers uh it's a classic uh it it just does something so it just does something for me and whenever i need to feel like i'm in the christmas spirit i throw this song on and i'm just transported back to 2003 as a once again young qualm uh i don't think either of you heard this song but i'm not gonna i'm, I'm not gonna assume right away uh david i'll throw it to you first have you heard this song at all I feel like I have. I mean, I love Christmas music, and I love The Temptations. Um, it's it's hard to remember specifically what versions of which songs I've heard, but I feel like I know this. I feel like I need to send you a, a Spotify playlist of all my favorite Christmas songs, and this one was at the top of the list. Uh, Maddie, have you? I definitely have it, and I, I do want that same link, please, because I feel like Silent Night, like whatever the original, like, uh, is there an original version is kind of like, kind of a flop to me. So if, if I, it's just kind of like boring, I don't know. So if they, if they've uh, elevated it, then I definitely want to check this one out. It's a, it's a soulful re rendition. Okay. Like it, it will get you in the bag. Like you will be in your bag. You like, Okay. I, I'm, I got all the holiday feels right now. Um, and yeah, it's my, one of my favorite re renditions. Well, what's, what's the rendition that you're thinking Isn't it like of? a I'm church curious. song? Maybe. I feel like all these Christmas songs are church songs. Like, I, Yeah, I it's just like that one, <laughs> if it comes on like a compilation album, generally skipping for me. I like the upbeat one. So if, if this takes us to a new level, um, then I appreciate I that. Say it's, it, it is not upbeat. It's definitely slower. Like, like I said, it's more of a slow, burn, soulful ballad. Um, but it's just, it's just so good. And then like the Merry Christmas. Like it's <laughs> There we go. Oh, there it is. It's, it's top tier. It's top tier. Uh, David, I want to hear your pick. Oh, so my pick, in my opinion, the most underrated holiday song is Elton John's Step Into Christmas. Written by Elton and his longtime songwriting partner, Bernie Taupin, Step Into Christmas was released in November 1973 as a standalone single. The song was not necessarily a hit at the time, peaking at number 24 on the UK singles chart, but it did take number one spot on Billboard's Christmas singles chart, which I didn't even know was a thing until yesterday. I don't know why I love this song, honestly, um, aside from the fact that it's upbeat, happy, and uses the gentle sound of jingle bells in the background as, like, is pretty much the go-to way to make a modern contemporary song sound like a Christmas song is to 
you like David likes the instrumentation. He's really breaking it down here. I really do. To the um, <clears throat> but I am constantly fascinated by how songs go from just being average songs to joining the ranks of Christmas classics. Like, how does a song about a donkey named Dominic end up becoming Christmas canon alongside songs about a little drummer boy and grandma being murdered by reindeer? It's like really fascinating to me how something becomes a classic. Uh, but I think Step Into Christmas is a perfect mix of festive and modern. It's catchy, mostly secular. I just really enjoy it. And as a quick fun fact, Step Into Christmas was released with a B-side song called Ho, 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 Who'd Be a Turkey at Christmas, which is about getting absolutely blasted off brandy on Christmas Eve and watching Santa, who Elton refers to as a, quote, fat, jolly, bearded, weirdy, come down the chimney. Weirdy. I mean, That's to be, great to be honest, uh, imagine there's an a, a oversized man come coming down your chimney. It, you'd be a pretty weird guy. I'm not going to lie. You mentioned seeing his his wellies poke down, which I guess are like boots poking down through the through the chimney. And mentions that you can smell burning rubber because I guess they still have the fire on. He refers to uh, Santa oh. as bearded weirdy many, many times. Needless to say, it did not <clears throat> quite take off as a Christmas classic. But if you can find that vinyl out there, you can enjoy that song. Wow, I think anyone I know with a beard is going to be called bearded weirdy from <laughs> now on. No. <laughs> so look at it. No, I don't uh, look, look at it in your direction. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, let's move on quickly. Maddie, what is your <laughs> underrated Christmas or holiday song? Okay. So <laughs> I'm already embarrassed. Um, this is a really personal choice for me because I'm sure that basically no one else on the planet would agree. But my favorite, my favorite Christmas song, which is also underrated, is Fa La La by Justin Bieber featuring Boys to Men. So <laughs> I, I don't I doubt anyone has really heard this song outside of believers, but it's it's a smooth little R and B number, and like this is where Justin Bieber kind of shines. He fits right in with the harmonies from Boys to Men. Uh, this song is so good, similar to Elton's song, that there's actually two versions on the record. So there is a B side, um, the regular one, and then there is a acapella version that's just them, the four of them, just harmonizing buttery smooth it's awesome people forget <laughs> that bieber can sing a little bit and this was like peak bieber for me so this came out when i was an active believer believer um i have a lot of great memories tied to it and another thing about just the album in general which i gotta say i'm a, a big fan of still to this day um under the mistletoe bieber gets features okay Outside of Boys to Men, he has the Queen of Christmas, Mariah Carey, on this album. They do a rendition of All I Want for Christmas is You. Uh, maybe a little unnecessary, but very Quam, why don't you why don't you check that one out? Maybe you'll maybe you'll have a new appreciation for it. Um, he has his mentor, Usher, Super Bowl halftime headliner, Usher, and Buster Rhymes in the the highly controversial rendition of Drummer Boy. Um, I don't know if you've heard this, but it is a song that exists in the ether, <laughs> and it is kind of fantastic. Um, so while my pick is unconventional, and I, I do like both of your picks, I have to remain true to who I am, which is, I guess, a semi-retired mega believer. So I, I urge you all to check this out. Listen to the whole album. It's It just brings me back to when I was in middle school and had Justin Bieber posters all over my walls. I, Maddie, you already know this, but excuse me, Under the Mistletoe has one of the most outrageous um, lyrics that I can't even believe exists in a Christmas song where he's talking about this, you know, <clears throat> wanting to be under the mistletoe with a, you know, probably Selena Gomez at the time, who knows. And he has a lyric where he says, the wise man followed the star the way I followed my heart. 
And it what is wrong with that, David? You. What the blasphemy? <laughs> He's comparing following his heart to a girl the way the wise men followed the star. Like, just unbelievable that he got away with Who said, he, that's a great idea, Justin? There's way too many, like, bi- like biblical references in, like, the pop songs. Because then there's, like, a line, I'm going to butcher the line, in Drummer Boy. He's like... He's like playing for the champ, playing for the title. I'm surprised you didn't read this in the Bible. And I was like, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that's was, a bar. That's a bar. I, 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 at the time, it was bar. cringe, but I think it's I think it's aged pretty well. So I think so too. That's 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 that's, that's a solid line right there. That's something you can I mean, use in real life. That's what I'm saying. So drummer, I, I didn't pick drummer boy, but that might be a. That might be a runner-up um, for me. I, I don't know. Justin Bieber and Buster Rhymes on a Christmas song just might be a blight to humanity. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> not going to lie. I haven't heard this song, so I can't be sure. But, Maddie, I do want to ask you, what you have so many fandoms. Is there a fandom that you're not a part of? Because you're a Swifty, you're a Beehive member, and Correct. now you're a Belieber. But... Well, I'm a fangirl. Remember that in, okay. in general. I don't just like like stars, celebrities, actors, actresses. I'm like always part of that. So I'm also a noted Charlemagneac. I was a believer. <laughs> directioner. Uh, directioner for sure. Um, kind of a barb too. I mean, like I'm a little <laughs> bit of everything. So I'm wh- what I'm going to do is support my people. Uh, I've fallen off on Bieber a little bit, but I was a strong, strong believer back in the day. So. I still, I still love them a little bit. This is good stuff. We appreciate some loyalty. That's, That's right. No, nothing wrong with that. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. You can check out the Holiday Music Headquarters right now. See everything we just talked about and more all season long simply by saying Holiday Music Headquarters or what to watch into your voice remote. 